it's officially July. We're halfway through the year. We wanted to do uh, our top. What is it? Four each. Yeah, top, I think we're picking four each. Top yeah. eight, and then and then at the end of the year, we'll do a bracket challenge. So we'll have a top sixteen each. Do a bracket challenge for top our top sneaker of the year. Or did you want to do the bracket for the middle? So that way we have a list, and then we can compare it to the end of the year. Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, so before that, let's get into the top ten through complex to see how we feel for yeah. uh, for these that have been released. So, um, well, actually, let's start from number uh, number ten. Yeah, let's we'll do number ten. So number ten, uh, Rick and Morty Pumas MB. God damn it, dude! What's with all these goddamn ads, dude? Yeah, dude. You're I not hate. safe on the internet anymore, no, dude. Uh, so Rick and Morty Pumas MB ones. Uh, how are you feeling about these? So I thought this was an interesting pick because. You don't really see Puma show up on the list. Yeah. Um, this is more of a basketball shoe, I feel. And I, I'm i not a big fan of these. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not going to say or front that no, I'm excited for these. No. But, I mean, if it's for someone, cool. I don't get it. Why is it in the top ten? But, yeah. <laughs> I don't have much comments on this one. No, I, I don't really feel it either. I mean, the, the, the colors themselves are nice. I just, they don't really go for me. But it, it's, I guess... This could look cool on the basketball court, but that's just me. Yeah. Um, number nine, Joe Fresh Goods New Balance ninety sixties. I agree with these. These are these are these are one of my favorites for sure. Really? Okay. Yeah. I I, I like I like just the the nude colors. I don't think I, I don't. I would have a tough time wearing these, but I feel like I could figure it out. But I I kind of really like these. Yeah. So long story short, my brother actually got a pair of these, uh-huh. and I saw him wear it last week. At my dad's, um, we did a little Father's Day thing, but nice. it was a late Father's Day. Um, he wore these. They're big shoes, dude. They're big. They're big shoes. Oh. Yeah, like I'm not saying they're a bad shoe. I almost feel like this specific sneaker, you have you have to really think about what you wear. It's not like one of those things you just throw mm, on. I thought, yeah, it doesn't look as clunky, but I guess I could kind of see that. You see it in person, and I'd have to see it in person. Yeah. But I, I like these. Okay, I'll um, see if I could bring his pair, so that way we could. That that yeah. that would actually be sick. Yeah. Uh, okay, number eight, Adidas. Fucking goddamn the camera. Well, whatever. We keep the middle. Yeah, this one. Uh, Gucci Adidas Gazelle. I actually agree with this. I mean, I still think my only grip about it is the sole. Oh I, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I, I just feel like if it was just a clean gum sole. With the Gucci print on top, it wouldn't have been too overdone. But I see. I also understand this is kind of like a Canal Street like uh, bootleg type yeah. of inspired sneaker. I see. And it, you know, it really does look like a bootleg. I think we mentioned that last time. Fuck you. The retail is eight fifty, which I mean, I get it. It's Gucci, but damn, dude. Yeah, and they were um, saying that these run pretty big. So if you're gonna spend eight fifty on these, that would suck ass to spend yeah. that much money and like have them not fit like go to the store and try them on like yeah, don't for sure. I mean, order I, these but that's weird though because I've had gazelles before and they've always fit true to size but that would be a huge disappointment dude yeah shit. okay number seven Nocta and Nike Hot Step Air Terra yeah. these are the Drake yeah yeah that's right? a Drake yeah. collab that he mm. did and I agree with these. These are kind of like the Rodeman inspired, like UK type of sneakers that I see. people really get into. Almost kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, like isn't there like a Fila that kind of has that like, you know? Yeah, I, I think so. This kind of like, kind of like, yeah, the, movement. The, the, the paneling yeah, on it. I but, see. But um, it's a cool sneaker. You can wear it with a track suit. I, I get it. That's like, a, yeah, that's, this is a very track suit type of sneaker. Yeah. I, can de- I can definitely see that. And I, and I feel like since it's a Drake shoe, I think these were like reselling for like $250. Um, like, so it's not too bad. Um, I feel like the leather is not bad on these. And you could wear them to a festival or something. And yeah, I would like to see these in person to see how they fit. I feel like there's been other colors that have released in these two, I feel like. So is they that? have a black one. Uh-huh. But my favorite one, which I would consider getting is the lilac one. Oh, okay. It's I'll really fucking clean. Up. Okay. Um, Number six, yeah. uh, Travis Scott, Nike Air Max Ones. I don't know if is this specifically the Barack Browns or just any of them. I think it's the brown ones. I saw these in person yesterday. Actually, quite a few people had them. Yeah. I, was, I wasn't crazy about them. I, no. like the, I like the super yellow ones more, but I wasn't crazy. I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's an Air Max One. <sighs> 
I also didn't feel like they needed the backwards swoosh again for this. No, and and the laces on these two, which are like I think it's got a lace lock in the center, and then it's like um, not traditional laces. So yeah, I don't know. I saw a couple guys with them, and they just look like so much extra lace to actually get them to fit well. Yeah, I wasn't feeling that because I think it's like you you take what's comfortable or great about an Air Max one, and then make it like not yeah not as functional. It's okay. I get it. It looks like a Travis Scott shoe that I don't think he actually wears himself. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like he, he designs. Like, all right, let's let's. It's do under some, his name. Yeah, and, like he's like, yeah, dude. Uh, we we need to push some Air Max ones. Like, do some yeah. of this. He's like, oh, okay. But I don't think he even wears these as like his favorite pair. Yeah. But they're out, and I guess they're for someone. Yeah. I, I, I don't really see it for me. Especially like thinking of like what the prices could be on these. Yeah, like, no, these these are my top ten for sure. Uh, no, I, I I completely agree. And the, I'm I'm glad the resale is probably a bit more reflective of that too. I think it, I think the resales I think they're like in the three hundred. Yeah, so, I was gonna say but, anything over four hundred. Like I couldn't see that. I agree, but I think because this is a Travis Scott shoe, like that that price point makes sense. But I think that's also reflective like that these yeah. aren't like people like once they're released and people had them in hand they're like oh oh the, okay and they're yeah. just kind of like that's it. Uh, number five, Union, Union Air shoes. Jordan Twos, the guava looking ones and the bluish ones. Um, <sighs> well, we, we went over these before, and I think they're, it's still not my favorite shoe. Yeah, they're fine. I like, think they they did it in their way, and that's what I do appreciate from Union is that they yeah. will always stay true to their identity, right? And the design language is always exciting to see what they come up with. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's not the type of shoe that I would go out on a limb for. Yeah, you know? I, I, I agree. I, I wouldn't, I wasn't super hyped on these. I tried to get them and then the union site had that shitty crash and after that I was like, you know what, I don't really like these. Um, these Kobe 6 Proto Bomba Cita Sweet 16s. Yeah. Um, I've never really been a fan of Kobe's because they're really just mostly basketball shoes. I haven't yeah. really seen, I don't think I've seen many people wear them just like out as like just shoe shoes. Like uh, we're talking about before just in, in, in general, like, like yeah, even yeah. Even during when he was playing, you know, and yes. whatnot. I, yeah, I've no, I, never I owned a say. single pair of, of Kobe's. I think I've tried a few pairs on. I was like, this just, I, I don't know if it just could be my foot. Like, there are much more comfortable shoes yeah. at much better price points that I just wasn't feeling these. Yeah, I, I hear you. I think the meaning of the shoe is what really brought it here to the top 10, you yeah. know, in honor of, I, like, his I, daughter's birthday and rest in peace, knowing... With what happened, and, and um, I think it's it's paying tribute to to both of them and in, in memory of them, you know. And yeah, that's, I I get it, but then also to are 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 at that point are you know, and no disrespect to you know him or the family, but are at that point are you people more attached to the shoe or just the story behind it, or just because of the name and what it signifies, which I guess is a part of as a part of all sneakers and and how yeah. they, but. I don't see much to me that appeals. Like I love the Grinches; those were really cool. Uh-huh. Didn't get a pair, but I did try for them just because I love the colors. But like these, I don't know. It just doesn't. Like I, I, I get it. He's always going to be an icon, especially within within basketball sneakers yeah. and just like streetwear in general. But these don't really do anything for me. But yeah, I, I think what what's hard to separate is: is this a sneaker or a basketball shoe? Right? Like, yeah. I mean, they're both really the same thing, but mm. something speaks. Sometimes sneakers speak more to basketball shoes. That's true. Kind of like the Rick and Morty's. Like, I can't see that outside of a context of a yeah, a hundred percent. That's that, that's actually yeah. that's a really good point. Yeah. So, I think that's what makes it really difficult because if you look at your collection or just even the stuff that I'm into, like mm. this is not a shoe that would be in our rotation. Yeah, I agree. But um, it has a meaning, it has a purpose and I think that's something that like we all acknowledge as a culture, but at the same time it's to each their own. Yeah. Right uh, number three, the Jordan High Georgetowns. Yeah. Jordan ones. I, I, I like the 85 silhouette on these. Um... When I saw these, I, I actually so I, I never knew that the Georgetown colors were like a bit of like a very light sort of wolf gray and then the navy blue. Yeah, I had actually tried ordering a pair, but then they just got lost in transit, so I ended up getting a refund and never ended up rebuying these. But I've actually never, I actually haven't regretted it because you don't miss it. <laughs> no, I don't. I I I, yeah. I I thought they would be more like storm blues, but like in an eighty five where it's yeah. like a nice blue and then white. I didn't know it was a grayish color. Um, yeah, I I actually haven't seen a single pair in person at all in these. 
Yeah, and you know what's funny? Because I was looking through my list mm-hmm. and what were my favorite sneakers of the year. Yeah. This didn't even come to mind. Yeah. And I was even even looking at my top 10. Um, personally, I'm not a fan of Navy on sneakers. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's too men's wary to me where I, I just can't see it. Right. In the type of clothing that I wear. Um, it's very muted. It's very understated. Not a bad shoe. Not my favorite shoe, I. I know the camera. <laughs> um, let me think about this. What should we do? Do we pause or? Let's just keep talking through, and I'll just have this as the screen, and then once we jump to our uh, top ten, okay. I'll, I'll 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 turn that camera okay. back on. And yeah. So yeah, this isn't my favorite shoe, but I do think. It's a nice shoe overall, and I'm not going to, like, knock someone for getting these, but I'm not looking to get them myself. Yeah. After they got lost and, like, after I got my refund, I was like, you know what? I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good off of these. Yeah, yeah, um, You're doing me a favor here. <laughs> yeah. It, it actually, like, you know, th- thanks a lot, UPS, for losing that shit. Probably someone sold it, I'm sure. But, yeah, yeah it worked out, worked out well for me. I got another pair of shoes instead. Okay. Um, cool. So, number two is the, ooh, the Union Dunk Lows. Yeah. I... This doesn't mention anyone particular. I okay, so I'm gonna assume that just because it doesn't name actually oh actually no it doesn't here, the pistachios. Yeah, yeah. The pistachios to me were the only ones I actually didn't wasn't crazy about of, of the trio. You like I, the Argon I blues? I love the Argon blues yeah. and the court purples. I have both yeah. of those. Oh I, you do. I do, but I didn't get these because I just okay. wasn't crazy about these colors. Yeah. I think the Argon blues were probably my top out of the three. Mm-hmm. The thing with the Argon blue is that like blue is always like a specific color that you got to match. So I think this one's yeah. a little bit more versatile because it's not like all blue and it has a little bit of hint of green. You can play around with it. That's but true. Yeah, it is a nice color. It is a nice, very nice shade of, of the, it's like 100% dead on the description, the pistachio. Yeah. That is exactly what I would imagine. That's a really good, yeah, really good description. Did you it. did you peel the, the fabric off of them yet? No, I've been tempted to because there's like, it, even like in this picture, there's like a lot of stray uh, sort of like, you know, stray sort of uh, fibers and stuff like that from yeah. the stitching. And I think that this outer stitching too, if you like zoom in, it's so like, kind of looks like it was like half assed. Uh huh. But the reason behind it, as I think, is because it's meant to be like once you cut it, it's much easier to just tear off and reveal yeah, underneath. Yeah. But um, I've been very tempted, but no, I, I have I haven't yet. I'm just I'm still keep, keeping that outer layer on. Yeah, because I saw some videos of people doing it, and the leather on them looked really nice. Mm, good and to I, know. And I definitely want to check yours out at one point just to kind of see what it, they look like. Yeah, I'll pull them out after the show. Yeah, um, um, yeah, but I I, I I actually do agree with these. I think these are definitely a good top ten. Like I did really like yeah. the dunks on these, and I think. I think the core purples are probably, I mean, even though you said those are one of the two that you got, like I think consensus wise, it's it's one of the hardest shoes to like pair up. But I think mm. between that and Argon Blues are probably like easily could be top two. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, so I, I would agree with this one in the number one. Oh, dude. <laughs> the Louis Vuitton Nike Air Force One lows, but like. And and this 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 kind of is like a this is kind of like a the same thing that I were talking about with with like the the, the Kobe's Gucci. oh the, sorry my the, bad. the Kobe's yeah okay. it, it, is this is this really a sneaker of the year because they're like that crazy I mean I'm sure the letters on them great because it's you know it's it's a Louis Vuitton collaboration I'm sure it's they have incredibly high Louis Vuitton standards leather yeah man but <laughs> is this because this is a an off white collab in Virgil past or would these have reached number one regardless of that. I think it possibly could have still reached number one, really? but not for the right reasons. Yeah, okay. Um, I think because of one, the meaning behind of what, what he was trying, his intention with the collection, and kind of like putting his foot forward as the creative that he is, that he could pre- pretty much do anything, mm-hmm. you know. And I think this shoe is a testament to that. Is it my favorite shoe, especially out of the Louis Vuitton Nike collection? No, like this one specifically, I, I do not. I'm not a big fan of. I, I like the white ones a lot. I think those are probably my the, favorite ones. The air, sorry, the, the red and whites, right? No, or just, the green just, whites? just plain, plain white. The plain whites, the mids, right? Uh, actually, I think they're just lows. Let me see if we can pull them up. Um, yeah, just put Louis Vuitton, Air Force One, all white. I'm pretty sure they're mids. Oh, no, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. They're all white. And, and I think the reason why is because the, the Louis Vuitton print on is just so loud and kind of like... Yeah, it, it kind of like it kind of reminds it kind of what you're saying about the Gucci's. It's very, uh, 
looks very flea markety. Um, yeah, like like some sort of like pirated sort of like uh, sneakers. Yeah, but the reason why I like these so much is because it's all of that is much more muted, and I guarantee that leather is absolutely insane. Oh yeah, nice. phenomenal, dude. Yeah, but now these sneakers are going, I think, for like anywhere between twelve to twenty five thousand. Fuck, dude. dude so damn, these are these are crazy. That that's where I kind of have a hard time putting them as sneaker of the year because the accessibility is so far out. That's yeah, that's true. Because like, I mean, you you could yeah, I guess best sneakers of all time. You could you could just you could throw just based off of price wise. Yeah, uh, Air, Air Mags, Red Octobers, these. But like, yeah, that's one hundred percent right. You gotta you gotta factor in the accessibility of it, yeah. and that's exactly what was that was my mindset going into my top four for 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 so far for this yeah. year. But I, I guess going back to these, what's what's your favorite color on these? My favorite color, yeah. Okay, so I if we go back to the the collection, I think the green ones, the green and white ones, were really good. Oh yeah, the these, the right. these are nice. Yeah, these oh, are come clean. on, twenty three thousand. I don't know if that's really what he wanted for this collection. I don't to think be. so. I don't think so either. But and but I, I don't I, like the rollout. On, yeah, because you know how you could get these, right? It's 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 through uh, it's through auction, right? For, for like a charity. So those the, the the top ones were auction. The brown ones. Oh. The rest yeah. of them were if you were called by someone from Louis Vuitton. To purchase them, that was the only way to buy oh, them. I see. You had to be like a like a like like, 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 like a, a huge spending client. Yeah. Same thing with the Dior's. I I've heard I read uh, a couple of stories on. Um, oh, here we so go. Click that. Yeah, that one with all nine on them. Yeah, I, I've heard a couple of stories of people on Reddit saying that. Like, yeah, they've had like friends of friends or like worked at a Dior store, and it's the same thing. Yeah. For for the Dior releases. Like anyone in the world can spend can can put can have entered into that raffle. Yeah, it didn't matter because for the most part they were gonna pick people who are like from their top like that spend a hundred thousand or more a year on the store to yeah. give them the first pick if they want to get them and then kind of go and back. They will there. reach out to you. There's no way for you to go over there and be like, hey, I want to buy this shoe. Yeah, they'll just tell you like, who the fuck are you? Like, get, get out of here. Yeah, and that's the crazy part to me because I mean, then again, like if you don't have the money, I get it. You shouldn't be going out of the limb and buying two thousand dollar shoes yeah and you know people are going to do that because that's just what the culture is like yeah but at the same time the people that did get the opportunity to buy those shoes are just reselling them for astronomical prices that which i get it like i mean if, if you buy this sneaker for i don't know what what's the re- what was the retail price like say i like, think anywhere like, between two to three grand so maybe. yeah if you're buying this for two or three grand but you know the resale like is a fucking the size the, the price of like a brand new you know mid-sized car yeah i mean it, a good down payment for, yeah for more like, for most people it wouldn't make sense to keep them and not capitalize on that but I do agree. Like, would would this role have been the same if Virgil was still, were still around? Yeah, who knows? Would they have made more? Maybe. I think so, but then again, I'm not here to. Yeah, I don't have all the answers. Who knows? But so these are these are the nine that were released. Um, these gold ones are pretty crazy. This definitely looks like something that you just sit like in a like museum glass, like in a nice yeah, box. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine anyone wearing those without looking like super, super just like gaudy just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just with your with your gold shirt you know yeah chain yeah and this this like a fucking Versace shirt yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I just I cannot imagine this ever looking good the white ones for sure are just like a nice one the, the black ones I are pretty sick I love the mids too. though dude the mids are nice yeah, I love I, the mids I didn't even know there were mids until you mentioned yeah. that I could have sworn I told you I saw mids and it turns out they had both yeah um these are all really nice too. I do like the reds and the greens, but I would say for sure the white ones are are my favorite for yeah. sure out of all of these. Um, but yeah, so so that was their number one. I, so I do mm-hmm. like the the yellow. The yellow, yeah. Th- so this is in, yeah. This it's is interesting. Such an interesting, yeah. But mix, yeah. I just don't know how that patent leather in the front is going to look over time. Yeah, compared to the other materials on the shoe, and, but and I can't imagine that this would be a. Any of these would be a, like a like these are are your dailies for anything like this oh, is like no. a special occasion. You're gonna flex on everyone in the world and then just like put you them wear back them two and, three times and then you put them on the mantle and yeah, never dude, touch them yeah, again. P- put some shoe trees in them to like uh, to like decrease all the all the little creases you just yeah. made. Yeah, dude. Okay, so so with that said, let me let me fucking pause real quick and get these other cameras back on and hopefully they'll stop being little bitches. One can hope. I know, dude. All right, what's 
that camera out. Let's see what that fucking shit says. All right, 39 more minutes of that. Let's see. All right, once I fucking hopefully plow through this shit. Okay, so we got our top 10. Uh, so let's go. To, do you know which number, uh, which is your first? Yeah, well, we could go from four. Go to number four. Okay. I picked... Okay, this one's going to be a wild one. <laughs> Damn. Dude, what the... <laughs> right off the bat, Holy dude. Holy shit. Right off the all bat. right, all right, all okay. right. Okay. So I don't know if this counts. You could tell me if it doesn't count, and I'll be completely okay I, with it. I'll I'm, find a different shoe. I mean... The retail on these are $1,000. Holy... I mean, but it's Balenciaga. Okay, so, so I, I, I get yeah. it. All right, all right. Okay, so thoughts... They're wild. Um, they look like they look like you got some like what are those Asics that every like freaking yeah. middle aged dad has? And yeah. then, you know, um, they look like those Asics that you just like chop them up yeah. with the, the, all the different ones and just like glued them together. <sighs> like this literally looks like yeah. a piece of no, a, like a chunk yeah. of, that's glue. Yeah, that's glue. Uh, they, I mean, they're they're interesting. They're they're a very um, non. Th- these sneakers don't conform to like with the normal kind of rules or thoughts we have a place in sneakers, and I think yeah. that's what kind of makes them cool. Um, I could see myself wearing these just for the sake of like, so people could be like, "What? What the hell are those sneakers?" Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, dude, yeah. You, dude, if you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> all right. Honestly, so for me, it was the deconstructional mm-hmm. like take on the Asics for sure. That's probably the, where the inspiration came from. Yeah. The all the different pops of color, even though they're kind of random, right. very cohesively go together. Okay. Um, I do like me a good running shoe. However, I don't really buy Asics. The last time I bought some were like two, three years ago. I haven't really found a good pair, but I saw these and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to throw them in the list. I think yeah. it's a wild card. It's a wild yeah, card. Yeah, I feel know? it. Yeah, these Yeah, these are some good... Uh, yeah. yeah, these... There's, I've had a pair of gel lights and they're really comfortable. These look like they would be comfortable. Hopefully they're like they're, like, they're not like the what's I don't it called? Know. They might be those stiff as fuck. Chunky. What what, what, what the are the triple S's? Yeah, dude. God, yeah. those are so heavy. Okay, so mine. Let's see. Uh, this is so yeah. This was one of mine. So my New Balance, the ninety sixty, the yeah. Joe Fresh Goods. Until you mentioned they were really big, I just really like the colors on these, and. Um, just how it, yeah, just, I, like, it just they yeah. just they're just cool. They just remind me. I don't know, kind of like. I don't know. I just really like these. They're they're visually appealing. No lie. Um, I will say when I get the shoe in person, so that way you could look at it. Yeah. No. That way good, good you call. Can get a second opinion. Yeah. Um, because these are going for like a good premium. I think I forgot what the price was, but like yeah, you can yeah. Oh, they're, they're not that bad. Yeah, they're like in they're the two hundreds. Yeah. Not, uh, I think just only. I mean, obviously, yeah. Always like everything twelve and up or like and usually, uh, like five and under are usually the more expensive ones. Yeah. But everything else, nothing else is really breaking three. So, but these, yeah, I, I like these. But yeah, I'd love to see them in person because I was considering getting a pair of these. But uh, okay, all right, good to know. Um, so your next one. Yeah, my next one's going to be number three. All right. And this one's for sure a sneaker. It is. Ooh, we're on okay. the New Balance wave. All right. JJ New Balance. Ounce. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we were talking olive, about these last episode. 990s. Dude, the olive the, is such a nice color. One of the most cleanest shoes, I think, to come out this year. Um, you know, I, I do like that. At first, I didn't like the N being all blacked out. Because the I was kind of like, it, it oh, kinda, the end. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah the, the logo because it kind of like sticks out a lot and it doesn't kind of play with the cohesiveness of the shoe. That's true. Yeah, I would have imagined like it would have looked nicer if it had this kind of like bone or sail colored end. Yeah, but I think the end does kind of work. I think it does, and he does all his shoes like that. So mm-hmm. it, I think it's part of the design language and okay. how he wants to approach New Balance. So. Um, after a while, it definitely grew on me. I don't know if these are within my reach anymore for me to pay for them. What, I mean, what's the resale on these now? I Have think you... they're like five hundred at least. Oh, I want to say at least five to six hundred, and I don't know if I could justify that for a pair of New Balances. Damn, but I was to say yeah, for New Balances. I love these safe. shoes, though. I like them. Okay, so my next one uh, were oh, the, <laughs> it's the same, same ones. One? <laughs> yeah, dude, no. Uh, I'll jump back to this. Uh, so these are a personal favorite. I actually haven't seen them in hand. And, I, and when, once I saw releases of this, I was yeah. actually really stoked on these. So these are the bleach coral ones that, okay. I, that I got. Um, I've always been a fan of low Jordan ones. And I especially like when they actually do really nice cuts of leather on them because that uh-huh. makes such a huge difference. And so they're usually really plasticky and shitty. Yeah. That this is a personal favorite. Like this is yeah. something that's going to be like a very, like you mentioned, a very summer, very summer shoe. Yeah. 
that I think is going to look, gonna look really, really great. Yeah. Especially once it's worn in because it's got a black toe and eyelets in this quarter, in this, uh, in this, this uh, panel, and then a nice white quarter panel, then everything mm. else. Yeah, the, the, the suede's like in hand, one of my favorites for sure this year. Oh, yeah, definitely. And the fact that you have it in hand just goes to show how much you really fuck with the shoe. Yeah. You know? 100%. Uh, okay, your number two is. All right. Yeah, yep. this is going to be, I Ooh. forgot, the Claw Air Jordan 5 Lows. Yeah. Um, I just think everything in the shoe works for a low, and not many Jordan 5 Lows really kind of appeal in terms of like, oh, I want to go get that, you I, know? Yeah, I think we were talking about these last time, too, and I think these are the first Jordan 5 Lows that I was like, I actually really, really like yeah. these. Yeah, these are sick. Um, I wouldn't think I would have put this in my top four, but... I think I think these are. For is this sure. is this something you think you might you might end up actually getting? Yeah, yeah, I could I could see myself getting it, and they're not that bad of a price either. I think so. Yeah, I, um, de- I never I never even considered that there were actually Jordan Five lows until we talked about it. I was looking yeah. kind of going down the rabbit hole. I was like, damn, these are like I actually really like these. Yeah, right. Yeah, and if you wear like long pants, like they're gonna look the same way as a as a Jordan five yeah. uh, because you're going to cover the shoe anyway. Yeah. So. I've, I've had a couple pairs of Jordan fives that I didn't really like how it felt like farther up, like kind of like above my ankle. Yeah. And I feel like this is going to be like the perfect thing for like, mm. for, for, for that feeling. Uh, okay. My next one yeah. was a crowd favorite, which is the Panda dunk, uh, which technically released last year, but they've re-released over and over again. And I think these are a sneaker of the year because so many people have them. So many people, okay. They're so versatile. They've released several, several times, but like this is just uh, this has become a staple in so many people's like uh, in, in in wardrobes. Yeah. That, and I noticed too when I was in Spain, the number one thing I saw were white Air Force Ones and Panda Dunk the, the Panda Dunk lows. So I was gonna mention that too because I'm like the other other shoe I could think of that's most worn is the Air Force One, the white one specifically. Mm-hmm. And this yeah. is kind of taking its place this year because Air Force Ones, as we know, are getting harder to come by because mm-hmm. they're selling out from the stores. And this might be, yeah, this might be in terms of like the most worn sneaker this year. I can yep. see that. Yep, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to think of like, what's a crowd favorite? Kind of like what we're talking about. What's attainable? What what can people actually get? Uh, it's, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll figure something okay. out with these. Yeah, what's a, what's actually attainable for people? And this one has been like, this has been like the new like, like, like easy V2s where people are just buying these left and right. There's, yeah. there's always going to be in a demand for these. Okay. Your number one is. So this one's going to be a wild card. All right. All right. Go for it. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. The ones who were, yeah, one of those were just I didn't want to say shit when you had them open. Right. Because I was like, oh, it's going to give them out. But these are sick. When I looked at it, this angle, this specific photo, I was like, okay, I fucking get it. When you look at the product images, they don't look as good as they do here. Maybe it's the lighting. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, these are these these do look really nice though. What right? what does this say on the on the side? Vuitton. So oh, the other okay, one probably yeah. says Louis, and this one says Vuitton. Ah, I see. Um, what one one thing about the Louis Vuitton pattern that I do like more? I like this sort of checkerboard pattern so much more than like yeah. the monogrammed LV that's like all over the shoe. Yeah, this does look a bit more wearable to me. It's Louis Vuitton without being too loud, right? Yeah. When you look at the regular dummier print, the brown and the dark brown, almost, um, what's the word I'm looking for? In, in a shoe, it clashes, I yeah. feel, you know? That's yeah. why even though the auction one went for 250000 they put a top sneaker for Complex. Yeah, but it's it's it's, it's, it's the name, though. It's the yeah. and, and that's the classic LV, I think, is like the brown. But yeah, um, yeah these are, these are Still cool. Still not my favorite, but these I could see. I like the sales. Um, okay, and my, my last one, which I think the page actually disappeared, but let me let me, let me pull this up. Okay. I actually had it on a, a sticky. Fuck, yes. I love how you called it left field. Yeah, my 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 out there one were the Yeezy seven seven hundreds, okay. the high res red one because. The 700 model has been out for so long. Mm. Like the Wave Runner model has been out forever, and they're still incredibly popular yeah. and really hard to find. And they re release it every single time, like they're going to be bought up. That I really like this one and the, these reds. It reminds me of like, you, did you grow up on Pokemon? Yeah, yeah. These of, remind me. Of course, me, of course. Th- yeah, dude, these remind me of, of like Magmar. 
like yeah. like some of those like fire Pokemon Cinnabar Island vibes. Dude, yes, type of, okay. yes, exactly. This is exactly the, what what those tones remind me of. Yeah, I was going to say, is there an overhead shot of this thing? No, I wish that I wish oh, they had one on okay. here. Um, I think Goat might have one, but I love that this is just the original, yeah. the, the, the 700 V1, not the V2, kind of like the uh, or, or the MNVNs. But I love this color so much, and I think that like these are just over retail, and I'm really, really considering getting these because I love this shade of red yeah. with all of these other colors that go with them. And you know what I could also see, like... Mm. You know, you wear a pant that's a little bit more straight leg, so it drapes over the shoe. Mm -hmm. And a, you're going to get a little bit of that red that pokes through, but mostly it's going to be the other color patterns that are going to be seen the most because you're going to cover the collar and everything like that with your pant. Yeah, I um, agree. I do think that this could be look, that this could look really good with like straight pants if you're into that. Um, but yeah, it's almost like all these colors weren't meant to be in one shoe, but no, and they the, did it. The, the Wave Runner is the only sneaker that I think that could take all these different colors and hues and tones and put them into one thing and make it work. Yes, yeah. yeah, that it, red is super saturated. It's a, it's a, it's a strong red. It's yeah. red with it's not this like a like, toned down brick. Yeah, no, it's like it's it is red, red, red. in your face. Yes, it's yeah. red with black. With light gray, a little bit of dark gray, then this blue and orange, yeah. and this like kind of clay sort of color. Um, yeah, dude, I I love these sneakers. I'm happy that you brought these up because I saw them at first, and I'm like, hmm, interesting. Yeah, they're they're interesting, right? Because I'm not a, a fan of red sneakers per se. Like I think we talked about it before, how I bought all red shoes. And That's right. Of, yeah, yeah. Come off as clown shoes. Yeah. But, like, I think this this works. This works. Yeah. yeah. I'm really digging these. So yeah, the, so those are my those are my top uh those are my those are my top 4 for the year. Yeah. Um on Instagram, I'll launch a poll to kind of just start going through them, start putting some of these head to head so we can figure out what's what are good what are some good yeah, matchups yeah. to figure out um what the crowd believes is that is their number 1 sneaker for this first half of the year yeah, 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 yeah. and go from there. And then we'll and then at the end of the day we'll have our own like top 8, right? Yep created from that yep and, and at the end of the year yeah we'll, we'll do a bracket challenge and kind of a bracket yep. style to, to, to see to see which ones take it but and then we'll, we'll finish one off at the end of the year and yep. I think it'll be kind of cool because there's some exciting releases oh, dude, coming up I, dude those Jay, those Jay Balvins we, we saw the, the Jordan 2s and then I mean of course the 85 yeah. Chicago is coming out yeah. the yellow toe Jordan 1s dude yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm there's a lot coming I'm up. hyped for them um, cool hold on let me, let me just see if I can turn on this camera one last time just to yeah, get this sign up for sure um, but now that we're talking about the Yeezy 700, I do think this is one of those shoes that I'm glad it stuck around because a lot of the designs, I mean, besides the 350s, because those are the most easily sellable shoe that Kanye, I think, designed for that line. Right. Um, they're not my favorite. I see people wear them. They're not bad. Like I saw someone wear the Sesame ones. I'm like, hey. They're yeah, not, they're, they're, fine. They're, yeah. They're, they're fine. They're fine. It's a slip on shoe. Yeah, they're but cool. Kanye doesn't even wear them, and it just kind of speaks to the whole like we're, we're, we're marketing this shoe to sell type of thing and right. just put as much colorways as we could. Yeah, that makes because it's an easy shoe I think for people to buy into. Yeah, versus this one, it kind of give you like dad shoe vibes. People are like, I don't know if I want a chunky shoe, and I own a pair of the Maves uh, or Mobs. I think. Mobs, yeah. yeah, the Mobs. Dude, yeah, I love those. Those are super um, nice. Still my favorite. Um, I mean the Wave Runner specific. Well, I got the Inertia's for my uh, for my girlfriend, so she has those. I really super clean. I've always wanted a pair of these too. Oh, I really dude, like them. They're yeah, nice. They're, they're nice. Sick. Um, but yeah, yeah no, that, I think this is a model that deserves to stay, and it's one of those that uh, maybe a little bit controversial. Not everyone's cup of tea, but yeah, I think. In time, it'll prove everyone wrong. Yeah, I think when I saw the original Wave Runners, I think uh, I think Chance the Rapper was wearing them. I think on Saturday Night yeah. Live, I was like, "Those are fucking clean." But, oh yeah. But all right, cool, man. So, uh, what else you got going on? So, uh, anything else before we we sign off? So next Sunday, you got an event? Yeah. So I know we probably mentioned it last time, but you know, um, I've been DJing for the last seven years, and finally, we're getting some events coming our way. So. Nice. We have three events coming up, one next week, which is going to be a Sunday day party Nice at Enzo uh, Nightclub and Bar on 3rd and Santa Clara. So it's going to be really cool. It's going to be a day party. I think I said that earlier. Yeah. And uh, my whole take is I'm just 
here to share all the music that I've been wanting to share all these years that I didn't get the chance to. So it's going to be super fun. I'm going to play Latin music and play some hip hop, maybe get into some house. We'll see where it would go. Nice. I'm stoked. Um, and then you got another event in SF coming up. Yeah. So that one and that one was crazy because it's an up and coming restaurant that's trying to get into like the whole nightlife scene. Mm. And um, they're kind of giving people the opportunity to come up and do their thing. And, um, and so, so to me, it's like if I could stick with something like that and, and also show that I could do shows in San Francisco. Then, right. You know, what more can you really ask for? Yeah. No, I, I completely agree. And and then uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked to see how those how the how those end up turning up. Yeah. Of course, we'll try to invite whoever we can to get up out oh, there and yeah, just so, to show some love. Let's but get, let's get everyone there, man. Yeah, dude. We, All right. So uh, I don't got any events coming up. Um, I was going to go to the there's a HypeCon event I think in August in San Francisco, but I'm going to a birthday party instead on that day. So okay. No other sneaker events at least for a couple for another month. I think there's one in Manteca might be going out too, but outside yeah, of that. Yeah. Um, that's really it. Well, thanks well, again, man, for coming through, for, for doing yeah, our top yeah. eight, and we'll, we'll go from there for next week, dude. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I'm excited. All right, man. Peace. All right.